ChatGPT is a content generating powerhouse. Whether you want to use it to create articles, scripts, stories, your sales copy, your headlines, your emails, quizzes, outlines for anything, or just generating lists of ideas, everyone can agree that it's an app that is absolutely disrupting the industry of generating content, making it easier than ever. However, it's not particularly easy for the beginner, the newbie, to jump into ChatGPT and get the best out of it. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a little prompt that I've created that will help the most newest, greenest of newbies to jump into ChatGPT and start creating content at a master level. So let's get started. Okay, so I've written this prompt to be as easy and beginner friendly as possible. So a prompt is essentially the questions and the information that you provide to ChatGPT in order to it to consider and create whatever you've asked it to create essentially, okay? So I'm gonna paste this into the box and we'll go through it. And then I will paste in one that has the full information, okay? So as you can see, there's a variety of statements that are there. And what I would say is this prompt will be in the description box below. So if you wanna copy it, you can, okay? But it should be relatively straightforward to follow along. So you wanna, you wanna start by saying what you want to do. So I would like to write an article on, create a story about, write some sales copy about, okay? So you will just fill in that top section. Then the next one is, can you, and then you state what you want it to be created. So can you write this article? Okay, so you've said what you want to do and then you've asked it to do it. The next thing should be, um, it should be, and then you need to explain the style. So whether this is concise, whether this is the tone of the language, the style of the language, um, how detailed it is. So you basically want to give it a, Know, a blueprint of how it's going to write it okay then you need to uh, you need to include an outline of what it needs to include so if it's an article you want to say you want you know five examples I want you to explain them uh, provide the benefits of why these are better than others you know you need to provide some information of what it needs to include okay? Then you need to provide any further details and the more the better. So that in this section, you can add as much information as possible, okay? Just anything that will help the creation of what you want to create, okay? And then we have this section at the bottom, which is kind of just a description or a, you know, is the question to JetGPT and how we want it to be displayed to us. So you can see, we've got this statement, your response should be in two sections. The first being, okay, what, what you want it to create. And then the second being three questions for me that you feel would improve the item. When I respond with the questions, or sorry, when I respond with the answers, you will rewrite the item and provide me with three Further questions to make improvements. Repeat this process until I confirm that we are finished. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going. To, I'm now going to paste in that prompt with me having filled it in. Okay. Rather than me mess about trying to type it individually. So you can see I would like to write some sounds copy uh, for a product called Sounds Three Thousand. I've just made it up. A brand new wireless earbud. Right. We don't need the two dots there. Uh, can you write this sales copy? It should be inspiring and compelling. It should explain that the Sounds 3000s are more than just an earbud. They're a life enhancer, <laughs> right? And the features include industry industry leading noise cancellation, immersive 3D sound, 20 hours of, uh, that should be battery life. Oh, uh, from a single charge, gesture controls, and almost weightless fill in the ear. We only need one dot. Okay, your response should be in two sections, and then I basically just put sales copy in, in all these sections. 
So now we can hit the go button and it will write us the sales copy. It will provide us with three questions and then we can answer them for it to rewrite it and give us an even better piece of sales copy. So let's go. Okay, so you can see that it's given us a short piece of sales copy. Now we could go back in later on and ask it to expand upon this, okay? Because it's only given us one paragraph. So we can go back later and ask for more, okay? But you can see we've got three questions. We're trying to perfect what we've got. So we've got who is the target audience of the 3000s? Um, okay, so let's go in here and we're going to put in number one and we're going to say who is the target market and we're going to put in uh on entrepreneurs <laughs> if i can split it right probably can't there we go entrepreneurs right entrepreneurs uh what is their pain point and when it comes to listing uh and i'm going to put in noise cancellation then we're going to come into the second question how do sounds 3000 compare to other wireless earbuds in the market and what makes it stand out so we're going to put in um i'm just going to put in they are the uh, best reviewed okay and And I'm going to put exceptional value for money. Okay. Question three is what are some real life scenarios in which Sounds 3000 would be particularly useful or beneficial? And how can we communicate these effectively? Well, I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to put great for working out. Okay. Great for working out. And I'm just going to hit the button and see what it comes up with. So it's, it's saying it's based on the responses. Here's an updated version of the sales copy. So now it's really hitting home, starting with saying, are you an entrepreneur? Looking for the ultimate wireless earbud to enhance your life. Okay. And then it's also in the second paragraph, it's now talking about rave reviews. And it's given us some more questions. Okay. So here we can see there's three more questions. Let's wait for them. So can you describe any specific features of the Sound 3000 that make it particularly well suited to entrepreneurs? And how can we highlight these in the sales copy? How can we effectively communicate the benefits of 3D sound experience to potential customers? And what kind of language or tone would be most effective in doing so? Are there any additional cases or scenarios beyond working out where sounds right okay okay so the first question can you describe any specific features of the sound 3000 that make it particularly well suited for entrepreneurs and how can we highlight these in sales copy so i'm just going to go with one answer here and the specific features is uh the what did we put in here one of the features was the weightless fill in the ear. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm not going to answer the other two questions because I don't have to. Okay. You don't have to answer all the questions if you don't feel it's appropriate. Okay. And then it will just, it will just rewrite it based on the information that is provided. Okay. And this is the beauty that it's just going to keep, it's just going to keep, we're just going to keep running in this circle of it creating, then asking questions. Okay. And you can see that we started off with just one paragraph. We've now got three paragraphs. So we are building upon this. And as you can see, it's a very highly effective way of creating brainstorming content that you may not have thought about. Okay, so, you know, just look at these last three questions before we end this video 
how can we effectively communicate the value of the weightlessness? Feel secure fit of the Sounds 3000. Can you provide any specific examples? How can we convey the high quality build and durability of the 3000? So it's almost as if um, I am working with a team and I'm creating the content myself and I'm going to these guys and saying, what do you think about what I've just created? Is there anything that stands out here? How can I make this better? What am I missing? If you were the audience, what 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 would you be thinking? Okay, but we're able to do this as we write it. And this is a pretty phenomenal thing, okay? And this is what I say at the head of this video where it's all about mastering ChatGPT. Even if you're a beginner, you can appreciate how easy this is, you know? Because if you were a beginner, you would have just typed in and said, oh, can you write me some sounds copy for uh, some earbuds called the 3000? And it would have just written that. And it would have written that one paragraph and you would have gone, well, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. But the ability to interact with it and get it to think about what we are inputting in, into the chat GPT instantly allows us to consistently create higher quality content. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video, whether you're using chat GPT to you know, write your articles, write your sales copy, write scripts and stories and headlines and your emails and whatever it might be. I hope that you're really thoroughly enjoying using ChatGPT and I hope that you get a lot of benefit. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Take it easy. We'll see you soon for another video.